and uh, the next uh, speakers of our section is Lachuri Arjuni uh, solvability for a class of higher order nonlinear functional differential equations. Hello everyone, I would like to thank all organization of this conference. Today, I would like to present my, my work titled Solvability for a class of higher order nonlinear fractional differential equation. This presentation is treated as follows. Introduction, preliminary section, my result, example, and some reference which used in this work. Introduction. Fractional differential equations with and without delay arise from a variety of applications, including in various fields of science and engineering, such as applied science, practical problems concerning mechanics, engineering technique fields, economy, control systems, physics, chemistry, etc. In recent years, several authors have studied the existence and uniqueness of solution of boundary value problems for fractional differential equations. For more information, see the following reference one and two and four. In this work, we study the existence and uniqueness of solution for the following nonlinear higher order fractional differential equations with no local fractional integral boundary conditions defined in one using, using the Hadamard fractional derivative of order alpha and beta and the Hadamard fractional integral order lambda e. And the function f is, is a given continuous function. In preliminary section, we present some definition and result of fractional calculus and two fixed point theorem, which will be used in this way. First, we define the space of continuous function from G into R with the norm defined in two, and the bar space of miserable functions defined with the norm defined in three. Also, we define the space of absolutely continuous function defined in four. Now we, we present some definition of fractional calculus. In definition one, we define the Hadamard fractional integral order alpha of a function X is defined and is defined in formula phi. In definition two, we define the Hadamard fractional derivative of order alpha of a function X and we, we define it in formula six. In lemma one, we give the general solution of fractional differential of the following fractional differential equation and is given by formula seven. From this formula, we can deduce the relation between the Hadamard fractional integral and Hadamard fraction derivative. And this relation is given in formula eight. Next, to study the nonlinear problem defined in one, we need the following lemma. In lemma three, we convert the fractional problem defined in nine to an equivalent integral equation defined in 10, where the constant gamma is defined in 11. Next, we use the fixed point theorem of Banach and Schroeder to prove the existence and uniqueness of fixed point of this integral equation which is a solution are a solution of the fractional problem defined in one. My result. In the following, we prove the existence and uniqueness of solution using two fixed point theorem. In this purpose, we need the following assumption H1 and H2. For the sake of convenience, we put the following constant defined in 13. Our first result dealing, dealing with the existence of unique solution and is based on banal contraction mapping principle. In theorem three, we suppose that the assumption H1 and the following conditions are satisfied. Then problem one has a unique solution defined in G where delta is given by formula 13. In this purpose, we convert the problem one into a fixed point problem by defining an operator phi defined as follows, the space C into itself. 
It is clear that the fixed point of operator phi are a solution of problem one because we have an equivalent under, uh, under the operator and a uh, fractional problem defined in one. <coughs> Using the assumption H1 and for each X and Y in C and T in G, we have the following inequality, inequality defined in 16 and 17. From condition 14, phi, the operator phi is contraction. As a result of Banner fixed point, fixed point theorem, phi has a unique fixed point, which is unique solution of fractional problem defined in one, and this solution is defined in the interval G. The second result is, the, is based in Schroeder fixed point theorem. In theorem four, we suppose that the assumption H1 and H2 are satisfied then problem one has at least one solution defined in G. In this way, we consider the now empty closed bounded convex subset omega defined as we learned uh, in C, where M is satisfied the inequality defined in ATM. It is clear that the continuity of operator phi follows from that of function F because F is a, is a continuous function. Now we need to show that the operator phi is compact by applying the well-known Arzilla Ascoli theorem. So we will show that the operator phi is defined the omega in omega, and phi of omega is uniformly bounded and equicontinuous set. Let W star equal to set of function W of t and for t in G. And for, for x in omega, we have the following inequality. It is clear from inequality, uh, inequality 20 that, that the, the operator phi is defined the omega in omega and the set phi of omega is uniformly bounded. Next, we are going to prove that phi of omega is equicontinuous set. For T1 and T2 in G, such that T1 is less than T2 and for X in omega, we have the inequality 21. It is clear from this inequality when T1 tends to T2, this inequality tends to zero. And, and the convergence is independent of X in omega, which means that phi of omega is equicontinuous. The Argila Ascoli theorem implies that phi is compact. And by Schroeder fixed point theorem, we prove that the operator phi has at least one fixed point x in omega that is in fact as a solution of a problem one defined in G. Example, as an application of our result, we consider the following boundary value problem of fractional differential equation defined in 22 using the following information. Let the function f defined in 23 and for x and y in R, we have the following in 24. It is clear that the function F satisfied the assumption H1 with the constant LF defined is equal to one divided this and delta is less than one. As all conditions of theorem three are satisfied and we can deduce that the boundary value problem 22 with F given by 23 has a unique solution defined in interval 1E. Moreover, the function F defined in 23 satisfied the following conditions, 26. Consequently, we can deduce from theorem four that the boundary value problem 22 has at least one solution defined in interval 1E. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you very much for very interesting talk. Uh, I think that uh, there will be not uh, a long talk uh, about uh, fractional differential equations. Uh, and it is very interesting that we use uh, uh, this uh, fixed point theorem uh, to prove the existence of such solutions. Uh, okay, and uh, maybe somebody had questions. In question number 17, can you open, please? Maybe somebody have? 
Uh, if no, I'll go one. Uh, would you please show uh, your theorem, uh, fixed point theorem, uh, where you can um, uh, prove the contrain? Uh, would you show your last theorem, please? Okay, uh, the last one, uh, the last theorem. Last theorem. Uh, last theorem and uh, later, uh, when you uh, use uh, the um, some constant uh, to prove that uh, this uh, map is contained. Here? Uh, not this, but uh, the next, I think. The next one, uh, when you estimate the uh -huh, uh -huh, what? here and the, the next An example, uh -huh. and you use uh, this result, and you know exactly that the meaning of this constant is less than unit. Yes, yes, this one. This constant is uh -huh. less than one. But, uh, is it a correct estimation of your constant? Yes. It's approximate. Yes. Approximation of constant delta. For uh, validate the, the, the conditions of contraction of operator. Yes, yes. I understood. But this constant uh, 0.07. Uh, is it a uh, correct constant or maybe it's approximate constant? You approximate, approximate constant. Approximate constant. Yes. Uh, maybe, uh, and you uh, are quite uh, uh, sure that uh, this constant is less than unit. Yes. For some, uh, for some, maybe. Yes. This we guarantee, we guarantee that this constant is less than one. Uh -huh. Okay. Equation number 70, please. Your equation number 17. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Equation number 17, 17, one, seven. Uh -huh. Uh, here, can you tell us about this delta? It should be less than one, yeah, between zero and one. You didn't yeah. specify here. Yes. Am yes. I right? Yeah. Delta is less than one. Between zero and one. Okay, absolute value. Of yes. Exactly. Less than one. Between zero and one. You need to keep here just the comment. Yes. Okay. I understood this. Uh, I mean, this concern, uh, this uh, line uh, sixteen. And this uh, meaning of this constant, uh, and uh, you uh, calculated it in, a, in your example, and uh, you proved in the example that this constant is less than unit, uh, approximately. Yes, but uh, in general case, um, we can uh, estimate uh, this constant uh, with the help of some parameter of equation. Yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for question and for comment. Ah, uh, this is uh, some question to you, uh, and I'll write it. Uh, I'll uh, read it. Uh, are there any ideas how to obtain results about the uniqueness of solution of this PD? FD? I don't hear you, sorry. Uh, have you any ideas how to obtain results about the uniqueness of solutions of these uh, FDEs? Fractional differential equations. Right. No. Unique solution. Yeah. The question is about uniqueness. Of yeah, this uniqueness, uniqueness of solution. Mm -hmm. 
what can we say about the unique uh, how, how fixed point uh, i think that uh, it's uh, not a question because fixed point theory uh, state that uh, there is a unique solution a unique solution of this equation yes yeah Yes. Because we because we have an equivalent uh, between the fractional problem and the uh, integral equation. Mm -hmm. uh, this this means that the, the unique fixed point of fixed uh, unique fixed point of operator is an equivalent of unique solution of problem of a fractional problem. Mm -hmm. In, in this purpose, we, we use we use in this way we use the the fixed point theorem to prove to prove the existence and uniqueness of solution of fractional problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. I think that uh, this is thank you the complete answer.